Last summer, we traveled to four different countries in a span of two weeks for Gino's sabbatical. You may have seen our other videos from our trip, including our time in Amsterdam. We're here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go try some Dutch pancakes. Our first Formula One race in Budapest. And we're gonna do great today. Can't believe we're here. <laughs> but we're just now getting around to editing the trip that started our journey. This was our first attempt at filming abroad to try and kick off our new travel vlog. So things might get a little cheesy, but hey, we're new here. So I'm realizing that we may have overpacked for three weeks in Europe because this thing is freaking heavy. We are going to Dublin tomorrow. We're flying from San Francisco to Charlotte and then Charlotte to Philly. We're, right, okay. Charlotte to Philly and then, then Philly, Philly to, to Dublin. Dublin. But we have to take a red eye to Charlotte tonight and we've got about two hours to kill until our red eye flight. So we are going to hang out at the Admiral's Club. for 12 hours already. We're not really sure if we're gonna get on or not. We were put on the standby list, so fingers crossed we get on and we make it to Dublin. We actually made it. We're like the last ones on the plane. And we made it in first class! Ah! Since we got first class, we took full advantage and we got a champagne to start with. You look like a natural. <laughs> they also provided a cute amenity kit and noise canceling headphones. So the TV screens are not working. So I guess that means Gino has to just like talk to me for the next seven hours. What do you think about that then? <gasps> Stop it. Don't you do that. Together forever. <laughs> Plan B is to eat, drink, and then sleep. Gino got to sleep like a little angel baby and I did not, so we're sure gonna be jet lagged. But. Don't judge us, but our first meal of the trip was not a shepherd's pie, it was Asian food. We are on our way to Temple Bar. <laughs> While Temple Bar is an actual bar, it is also an area filled with good old Irish pubs and tons of restaurants. Here you can find live music at almost every pub you enter. It may seem crowded, but we never waited longer than two minutes to get a beer. Here we are day two in Dublin. Today we woke up at around 10 a.m. so I think we're getting used to the time. Oh, finally. We are going to the Guinness store to check out that and do a tour of how they make the beers. And I guess we get like a little tasting at the end of it. We are in line right now to try Guinness. I have absolutely no business being this excited to try it. Usually I like Pilsners or IPAs. Definitely not dark beers, but I'm excited to try it. Yeah. <laughs> We're here at the Guinness store tour and it's actually been so fun. Um, it's very immersive. They have areas where you can smell like the wheat and the barley and um, then they also give you like these cute little samples of Guinness and they're literally like this small and it's so adorable and so you can like taste that. Fun fact, Guinness purchases about two thirds of all of uh, Irish Bailey for their Guinness brand barley. houses, barley. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention is that the Guinness tour is actually very family friendly. They had lifts, so if you come with a stroller or if you're disabled and you come with a wheelchair, they're very accessible to that. It seemed like the kids that were there did have a really good time because there was, it was just so interactive. So if you're with a family and you're like, oh, like, I don't know, the Guinness tour seems like it would just be like an adult only activity. It's really not. It's actually like pretty inclusive for the whole family, which was awesome. If you go to Ireland, don't just stay in Dublin. The country is stunning and you don't want to miss out on the beauty in other areas. We loved renting a car, stopping along the way, 
staying in the coastal city of Galway and visiting the Cliffs of Moher. Bird that lays an egg, not cur what's the what's the fun fact, Polina?